everyone, I'm Eva, and I'm a senior at UC Berkeley studying data science. Some of my favorite hobbies include selling things on eBay, um, I own a top-rated eBay store, going cafe hopping, baking with friends, and watching Broadway shows. In this project, we're going to make a cat face using Python Turtle. It should look something like this. The first thing we should do is to import the turtle library. The next thing is we should create a name and create a turtle. You do a few things to customize your turtle, such as setting the speed, color of turtle, and pen size. The next thing we should do is to create a circle for the head. And because there are 360 degrees in our circle, we can use a for loop and repeat this 36 times. Each time, we can tell our turtle to turn left by 10 degrees. This makes sense because 36 times 10 is 360. Remember, your cat face does not have to look exactly like mine. One helpful technique as you're designing your own cat face is to regularly print out the turtle's current x and y coordinates. We can even store them as variables, such as on lines 44 and 45. That way, we can call these variables and get the same coordinates at a later time. So after drawing the face, I'm now going to move my turtle to the left side of the face to draw the first eye. I called t.pin up to pick up my turtle's pin before going to the new location, which is negative 80 and positive 90. Then, I just tell my turtle to put its pin down. Next, because I want my turtle to point up, I'm going to call t.left90. Let's see what this looks like. Awesome, so now my turtle is facing up. In my example, my cat's eyes are closed, which are just half semicircles. Next, we want to draw the eyes of the cat. I want to draw a semicircle for the closed eye, so I used another for loop here. Awesome, we just made the first eye. Next, let's pick up our turtle and move to the new location to draw our right eye. I called t.pin up and then told my turtle to move to the new location 50 and 90. And then told my turtle to put its pin down. Let's see what that looks like. I want my turtle to face in the up direction, just like in the previous eye that we made, so I'm gonna call t.left negative 180 this time. Again, I'm using the same for loop to create a symmetrical right eye. Awesome job, so now we have two eyes. Next, let's move on to the nose. I wanted to get the nose as close to the center of the circle, so I told my turtle to go to the coordinates 0, 50. Instead of my turtle facing down, I want my turtle to face right so that it can begin to draw the horizontal line. What I can do here is I can use t.set heading and set that to zero. Awesome, so now I have the nose. Next, I'm gonna draw the mouth, which is just a straight line with a slight curve out at the end. It might be helpful to find the point where the triangle or the bottom of the nose ends. That way, you can tell your turtle to pick up its pin and move to that location. This can be really helpful, especially when you're trying to draw the two sides of the mouth and also figuring out where which coordinate the tongue should begin at. Awesome, so we have one side of the mouth done and I'm just going to repeat the same with the other side. Great. For the tongue, it's just an oval shape that's curved on the bottom. Next, to draw the ears, move your turtle to the top of the head. After drawing one ear, do the same for the other side. And there we have it, great job. As you're making these shapes for your cat face, try to think about if you could use for loops to make your code a little bit more efficient. Remember, loops help shorten your code and it can also prevent us from making mistakes. Feel free to add some additional extras to this if you want to customize your cat, such as adding whiskers, a collar, or even maybe coloring inside the shapes.